So this morning, there are five First Nations in northern Alberta under a state of emergency following dozens of opioid deaths and suicides this year. The Athabasca Tribal Council, which represents them, is calling on federal and provincial governments for support in addressing mental health issues and addictions. Hillary Johnstone back with more details on this story and more exactly on what's happening in these five communities, Hillary. Heather, these communities are, are asking for help. They say that just this year alone that they have lost 60 members of their community to drug overdoses, to suicide, uh, and to other things connected to self-harm. And they say that they don't see any signs that those numbers are going to improve anytime soon unless they have help. And we do know that back in the spring, uh, there were plans for another state of emergency to be called. But of course, those encroaching wildfires, that sort of pushed that off for a little while. And we also know from provincial data in Alberta that just in the month of April alone, that toxic drugs in the province of Alberta killed 182 people. But what we're hearing from some of these First Nations is that Indigenous people seem to be dying at even higher rates than the general public. And they say that they need culturally appropriate help and that they also need it in their communities uh, because of those lingering traumas, of course, attached to residential schools. Some community members saying they do not want to be sent away to deep detox centers to rehabilitation centers, uh, because that can bring back some of those memories in the past of having been sent away to residential schools. So originally, the Athabasca Tribal Council, uh, which is sort of speaking on this issue for these five First Nations, originally asking for $20 million for help. But certainly what we've heard from the Athabasca uh, Chippewa First Nation chief, Alan Adams, is that it, that is just going to be a drop in the bucket, that they're going to need a lot more help. So I'm asking industry, the municipality, and the government of Alberta and Canada to step up with the trillions of dollars you've taken from our resources and from our lands. You give some of that back to help our people. And like I said earlier, if not, get out of here. So that is just a little bit there of what we heard from Chief Adam. And you can certainly tell, Heather, that there is a lot of emotion. There is a lot of anger attached to all of this, because certainly what we've heard from the Athabasca Tribal Council and some of these First Nations uh, is that this has been going on for a long time. And they feel that they've now reached this point uh, where they're worried it could only get worse and they're asking for help. So help and financial support. And are they getting it, Hillary? What has the response been to their request? So here's a little bit of what we've heard from both provincial officials and federal officials so far. So yesterday, the provincial minister of mental health and addiction did say that they share uh, the struggle that some of these First Nations and Indigenous people have been dealing with, that they are committed to helping these communities, and that they have sat down and they have started this process, that they have had meetings with the Athabasca Tribal Council. At the federal level, we have heard from the press secretary uh, from the Office of the Minister of Indigenous Services saying that the federal government is committed to hearing these concerns and to working with these First Nations as well, uh, saying that the Indigenous Services Canada has already provided $5.8 million to to support Indigenous mental health services in the Wood Buffalo region of Alberta, but saying that they recognize that more is going to need to be done and that they are also committed to working uh, with these First Nations. So promises, Heather, for sure, uh, promises that we've heard over the past couple of days, but certainly as we were hearing there uh, from some of those members of the First Nations that they want to see more action. Hillary Johnstone, thank you again. Thank you.